In 1986, the PSA Concern, which then united exclusively French brands, offered four-cylinder gasoline engines of the TU series. The last of these engines left the production line in Duvrin in 2013. At that time, the Euro 5 emission standard was in force, the requirements of which the prehistoric engine could no longer meet. During its existence, Tushka has gained a reputation as a very reliable unit. If you want to buy a Peugeot 207, it is better to choose one with a TU series engine. The archaic unit, in comparison with the 1.4 VTI EP3 engine of the first generation, is more reliable, but loses in dynamics. The successor to the TU family of engines was the representatives of the EB series. The first units appeared in 2012 in the completely new Peugeot 208. From the very beginning, two versions were offered, 1.0 liters, EB0, and 1.2 liters, EB2. The smaller one developed 68 horsepower, and the older one, 82 horsepower. Although both versions have the same technical base, they differ in pistons and crankshaft. The smaller displacement is 999 cubic centimeters thanks to a cylinder diameter of 71 millimeters and a piston stroke of 84.1 millimeters. The larger one, with a cylinder diameter of 75 millimeters and a piston stroke of 90.5 millimeters, received a capacity of 1199 cubic centimeters. This is curious, since usually different volumes of engines of a common family are achieved by changing only one parameter, either the cylinder diameter or the piston stroke. Anyone expecting quirks will be surprised at how simple these engines are. They use multipoint fuel injection and have a relatively high compression ratio of 11 to 1. The manufacturer promised efficiency, which is confirmed by practice. To drive the gas distribution mechanism, a toothed belt operating in an oil bath is used. This belt is more elastic than a chain, which makes it better able to withstand torsional vibrations and loads from the phase shifters installed on both camshafts. I have good news for you, now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet, we have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro, here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car, you will learn all this on, carme.pro. The recommended replacement interval is 175,000 or 180,000 kilometers, depending on the year of manufacture and model, but no later than 10 years of operation. Practice shows that the belt life corresponds to the declared one. The valve clearance adjustment here is mechanical, using cups. The gap adjustment interval is not specified by the manufacturer. In practice, the procedure is performed when a characteristic noise appears. Interestingly, the smaller 1.0 VTI does without balance shafts. The larger 1.2 VTI received shafts, but only in the original Euro 5 version. The later version of the EB2F, which complies with the Euro 6 emission standard, no longer has balancer shafts. Due to the presence of balancers, the flywheel and the lower crankshaft pulley are different. Much more interesting than the base 1.0 VTI is the turbocharged 1.2 VTI version. Commercial name ETHP, and currently PureTech. Internal designations EB2DT, 110 horsepower, and EB2DTS, 131 horsepower. The engine sizes of the supercharged and naturally aspirated 1.2 VTI are identical. The cylinder head and pistons are different and direct injection is used. In addition, a balance shaft and a dual mass flywheel are used, when combined with a manual transmission. The manual transmission is a six-speed manual transmission of the MS generation, which has a more precise gear selection mechanism compared to the five-speed MA and B. The latter always come in conjunction with naturally aspirated versions of EV engines. The B-Box is paired with the weakest version of PureTech. 
Given the pure Tecca's performance and only three cylinders, most doubted that the turbo engine would last 150,000 kilometers. Nowadays, many cars have gone through much more and still avoid problems. The concerns were based on experience with the earlier four-cylinder 1.6 thp. This is a completely different engine, the EP series. The French avoided mistakes, as in the case of 1.6 thp. PureTech uses forged pistons with reinforced material above the top piston rings. Previously, in 1.6 TNR, forged pistons were installed only in the most powerful versions. The rest were forced to settle for cast ones, which did not resist heat well, which contributed to the formation of carbon deposits on them. A huge problem with the 1.6 TNR engines was also the formation of carbon deposits on the intake valves. Subsequently, they stopped closing and burned out. The main reason was an oil mismatch in combination with the functionality of the crankcase ventilation system. The inability to self-clean the intake valves due to the characteristics of direct injection also contributed to the appearance of carbon deposits. 1.2 PureTech engines produce significantly less carbon deposits on the intake valves and in the combustion chamber. For 1.2 THP it is very important to use high-quality fuel. In the past, in the Peugeot 3008 and Peugeot 5008 models, the manufacturer recommended filling with 98, as indicated by the label on the fuel tank cap. PSA has now reduced the requirements. Experience shows that even a 95 will do, but only of good quality. It's better to overpay a little, but refuel at trusted places. The reliability of the 1.2 PureTech supercharged engines exceeds all expectations and deals a strong blow to pessimists and doubters. Paradoxically, most often troubles occurred with naturally aspirated versions of the three-cylinder EB series. For example, the smaller 1.0 VTI had a failing catalytic converter. The main reason was the candles were of poor quality. Subsequently, the catalyst overheated and its core was destroyed. Fragments of the catalyst could get into the engine, causing damage to the cylinder walls. The manufacturer replaced the engine under warranty. Another fatal defect affected the larger 1.2 VTI. Between 2012 and 2013, defective crankshaft axial bearings liners, entered the assembly line. As a result, play appeared and a characteristic knock was heard from the engine compartment. The official service center measured the clearance in the axle bearings and if the permissible limit was exceeded, the engine was completely replaced. The main thing is that these problems have most likely already been resolved even in unsupported instances. However, if you buy a Peugeot 208, 2008 or Citroen C3 with these engines, you should find out whether the car has the problems described.